All right. The NBA has released their schedule. There are back to back to back to back to back to back situations for every single team in the NBA. Crazy. I mean, I'm, the the Lakers start off, and this is where it pays off being the Lakers. I, I, I'm just going to say this really quick. I'm not saying the NBA is pulling favoritism, but if you want a back to back to back, and you, you know you're forced into it, you want it at the beginning of your schedule. You don't want it at the end. You don't want it in the middle when you're tired and sore. It's been a long season. You hear me, Hilton? You want to catch it when you're fresh. You want to catch it when you're fresh. So the Lakers, they get right they start the season off with a back-to-back-to-back. Right. It's all good. You don't want to be, you know, on the road doing a eight-game road trip in, in 14 nights and then come off of that and then have a back-to-back-to-back. Because that's the night when you're sitting in a hotel room at the Four Seasons in Atlanta and you're thinking to yourself, with the Ben Gay rubbed all over your legs, you're sore, you've been in and out of, of the hot tub and the whirlpool, massages, and nothing is working. Ice. And you're, ice. And you're thinking to yourself, I will never, ever get involved in a lockout again. <laughs> I will never go through this again. It ain't worth it. I can't walk. I can't get out of bed. I can't get into bed. I can't make it onto the bus. I can't get off the bus. I can't sit on the plane. I can't do anything. It wasn't worth it. I didn't get anything out of that NBA lockout but this. So I'm just going to say, never as an NBA player, piss off the hand that feeds you. Period. Now listen to some of this wacky stuff in the schedule. Check this out. Atlanta, nine games in 12 nights. Atlanta Hawks, nine games in 12 nights. That's going to be tough. Starting with their December 27th opener. The Lakers are going to travel to Boston for a February, February 9th matchup with the Celtics. And then, after losing to the Lakers, <laughs> Boston heads out on a road stretch. You ready? 13 nights in March with games on back-to-back nights ending at Staples Center. Wow. Brutal. Think about that. Toronto plays a franchise record 19 games in 31 days starting in January, including five games in six days from January 9th through the 14th. Cleveland has its longest homestand ever, nine games from February 8th to the 28th, including a visit from LeBron James and the Heat February 17th. Philadelphia plays its first five games on the road, its longest season opening road trip ever. Miami, now check this out. Miami will appear on ABC or ESPN 16 times, the most allowable, followed by 15 appearances apiece for the Lakers and the Bulls. The Lakers and the Celtics each appear in the league high 10 times on TNT. The Nets' final game in New Jersey after 35 years before heading to Brooklyn will be April 23rd against Philly. The Kings could play their final game in Sacramento on April 26th. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's coming down. It's about time, man. Back to back to back to back to back. I'm serious. I think my swami thing we'll never see another nba lockout Ew. <laughs> this is jimmy church radio back right after this